Residents in one neighborhood in the villages say something has to be done about a retired couple. Some are calling squatters. Records show they bought this golf course home in Sumter County in 2006 for almost $450,000. In recent years, they lost the home to foreclosure and were served with eviction papers. Yet, as West 2's Bob Keeling reports, the couple remains in the home without running water or proper utilities. They don't take care of the place, and it's, it's horrible. It's, it's disgusting for the whole neighborhood. Larry Tomlinson lives across the street from this home on Society Hill Circle in the villages. Eight years ago, the retired couple who live here bought the golf course front home. And since that time, the man who lives here told neighbors he lost his pension from his home country of Denmark. The home was foreclosed on. Now it's government owned. They come over here and got water from us. For months, next door neighbor Carl Dietz says the couple has been living without running water. It's what are they using to flush the John, to wash their clothes? I saw the lady go up to the swimming pool. I assume she's getting a bath. Carl and his wife Linda say the neighbors have helped the couple with food, money even. Meanwhile, bank judgments and liens have piled up for unpaid utilities and homeowners association fees. In a highly manicured golf course community, this property sticks out. Some now call the couple squatters. The rest of the neighbors, we're all paying our amenities and paying our fees, and uh, they're not. One of the residents who lives in this house here in the villages says they're, quote, going through hell right now, she and her husband, and they have nowhere to go. She declined an on-camera interview but acknowledged the home was foreclosed on. Neighbors say eviction papers were served here months ago, and yet here the couple remains. The neighborhood would like to have it resolved. I think she thinks everything's going to be okay, and I don't see that it will be. Reporting in the villages in Sumter County, Bob Keeling, West 2 News.